Or Johnny Scoville. This is Chase the Heat. Thank you for joining me. We're going to wait a little bit while people join us. Looking forward to seeing you guys tonight. Got something to show you. All righty, what do we have here? All right, Jabara Judah, good to see you. Jay Frost, what do you say, Jeremy? JD87, Queen Sav, Left Eye Pat. Hi, Carolyn, good to see you. Your stuff's in the mail, girl. Corey, good to see you. Hang on one second. Um, there you go. Thank you, Corey. Thank you for being here. One Corey Cadell, real quick. He is now one of my moderators. So I want to say thank you very much for your uh, support. Love you, Corey. Uh, hi, Greg. Vendetta. FOF, good to see you. Hi, Mike. Rob Schaller, good to see you, man. Randolph, hello. Hi, Danny. Mahoney, good to see you. Hi, Danielle. Joe Russell, boy, the gang's all here. Hi, Roman. Good to see you. Tundra, Tim. Sean, Jake, Justin. All right. It's good to see you guys. All right, let me show you what I got today. We're going to do a review, and then we're just going to chill out with the family a little bit. Now, I've, I'm going to show you something right now that I've shown. I've, it's, I've shown it on many, many videos, but if you're new to the channel, um, this is something you may not uh, have seen before. So I want to show you this. This is my custom made hot sauce coffin made by Victor Ives. Look at the way the, it looks like it's got, like it's been pulled out of the ground. It's got like the brass handles. Very, very cool. Now, Victor Ives is a great sauce maker and he's a great craftsman and he's all things uh, hollow. Thank you, Vic, Victor. But inside it's got, but I have a sauce inside today. We're going to be reviewing this. Barrel-aged Widowmaker hot sauce. Okay. And this is from Dingo Hot Sauce. North Fremantle, Australia. I got this from Lee Nash. I personally gave it to me when we were in uh, at the Araluen Hot Sauce Festival, which was great. But he's from uh, North Fremantle. Fremantle is where ACDC came from. I got, I, when I was there, I went and saw the, uh, he took me, we saw the statue where Bon Scott, you know, Bon Scott, uh, Scott statue. Pretty awesome. But this is a great song. Hey, Mahoney, thank you so much. Appreciate it greatly. Um, I think Johnny Jr. is going to be joining us, hopefully. I'm looking, I haven't seen him yet. Please say, Roger, good to see you. Good to see everybody here. All right, so let me read a little bit of this to you, okay? Uh, we've taken our award-winning Widowmaker recipe, which I've reviewed already. Hi, Jalen, good to see you. Uh, we've upped, uh, upped the ante to create this very special limited edition release. So that's... All right, there's Johnny Jr. Hang on a minute. There you go, my dude. Good to see you, man. All right, for those of you guys who don't know, Johnny Jr. is my son. Johnny Jr., say something. Let me see if you have the little... Uh... Hold on. Oh, yep, you're a moderator. All right. Sorry about that. Just want to make sure. Now we got Johnny Jr., my son. He's on a lot of videos. He's going to be a permanent part of the channel pretty soon. Moderating as well. Thank you. All right. So um, let's know this. Fermentation and barrel aging using 
Here we go. We here. Uh, you think six? Six of the world's hottest chili uh, varieties have produced a slow, sustained burn that achieves the perfect balance of flavor and extreme heat. Now, I was at just some in the backyard recently. I've done some here, and I've said, guys, what do you like better? Some people said, ah, because of the traffic. I, I don't like that. Anyway, Junior, <clears throat> Junior, yeah, everybody's giving Junior some congrats. He just graduated. It's kind of cool. Pretty proud of him. Got you something in the mail today, too, coming your way, but. Anyway, uh, this is for the chili fanatic only, it says. That's pretty cool. Hope you enjoy the sauce as much as I've enjoyed creating it. Now listen to this, Stingo Hot uh, Sauce Company is a proudly uh, West Australian owned company. All our sauces are located, uh, or excuse me, locally handcrafted in small batches with fresh premium quality chilies sourced from West Australian growers. It's 100% natural product from preserve, uh, Free from preservatives, extracts, or uh, oleo resin. Whew. Well, I'll tell you. Me and extract. All right, let me give you the ingredients. It says chilies. Now, he doesn't give me the breakdown of what kinds of chilies there are, but he says they are six of the hottest, he said. Yep. I'll find out from him what those six are. But cider, vinegar, brown sugar, lime, garlic, sea salt. Now, this is a uh, fermented sauce, and you guys have been around the channel for a while. I have a real thing for fermented sauce. I like it a lot. It's aged in, uh, I'm not sure what kind of barrel. I think oak barrels, just oak. I think they're oak barrels. I'm not quite sure if they were whiskey. Or I'm, not, you know, I'm not quite sure. Hey, Jay, New York. I think that's a... So that means thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. it. Means a lot. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna compare the aroma, but boy, it's got a dark look to it. It's kind of dark. It's a little bit more aromatic on the spoon, but you get that great fermented. It's just, listen, this is just chilies and fermented chilies. The garlic's very faint, as is the citrus the, from the lime, the, but it's gonna be a warm one. Well, after I'm uh, reviewing this, we're gonna hang out to chill for a while, but after I taste this, while the heat is build, building, oh, Lee Nash is sitting here right now, you gotta be joking me. That's so awesome. Rule for that sauce, anything over 1 million goes in there. That's cool. I'm not sure. I'm so glad you're here, Lee. That's awesome. Well, here's the deal. I'm glad you're here because I'm going to tell a really funny story about me and Lee. After I eat this and describe the flavor while the heat is building, I'm going to tell you guys a very funny story about me and Lee Nash. I know you already know, Lee, what story that is, but hang on. Guys, I'm Johnny Scoville. So from Dingo Hot Sauce, um, or Sauce Company, excuse me, this is Barrel Aged Widowmaker Hot Sauce. Johnny Scoble. This is Chase the Geek. Oh, wait, hold on. Sean Fuller said, let us smell it. Kick on your smell vision, guys. It's got that great fermented aroma, a little bit of the garlic, a little bit of the citrus. Get that? Pretty awesome, isn't it? Please let it be hot, he says. Please. Well, I did the first one, the regular Widowmaker, and it was hot, but this is the barrel age. So here we go. Thanks, guys. Hey, Jeremy, thank you so much. Jeremy from Peppers and Kentucky Living. Um, wow. <clears throat> I know there's Reapers in there, Lee. I throw it right off the mouth burn was immediate. The, what you get, first of all, the flavor is very pepper forward. I think there's probably, you know, Lee's the expert, but I think he's using just a perfect balance of uh, – with the vinegar, the garlic, and the citrus, just kind of offset any bitterness from the peppers. And it blends really nicely, but it's really pepper forward. But that great fermented flavor, that fermented flavor and aroma. Now, the heat's building. It's The burn is in my mouth and my throat, but it's still climbing. Here's the funny story. 
So where I got, I'm get to, I was in Sydney for a week, and then I, I fly. Desiree and I fly from Sydney to Perth, Western Australia. First night, I'm with Chef Kenny, um, and Chef Kenny takes Desiree and I to his, uh, like his kitchen, his big factory there where he wor- works everything. And I thought we, were, he goes, we're just getting, we're gonna stop and get it, pick up a few things. Hey, Ronnie, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate that a lot. Um, so uh, he says, we're just going to pick up a few things. Come on inside. So I, he opens the door, and it's packed with people. I mean, packed. There's like a cameraman and, or camera woman, and just there's a, guy, a great dude making with half-shell oysters. And just it, it was just incredible. So many amazing people. They're all there to greet me. It was like, seize. I love seeds and sauce. But while I'm there, I meet Lee. I'm Ameth the Reaper. Thank you so much. So I meet Lee Nash from Dingo. And uh, we're hanging out at uh, with Chef Kenny. And Desiree's there. And he walks up to me and he pulls out his uh, baggie. He's got a couple. Ca- he's got some Carolina Reapers. Yeah, I think there definitely are some seeds or substance in this. But the heat is still building. Ah, maybe not. Let me tell you what's happening now. I, I won't forget the story. You sometimes I get dis- distracted. You know me. But I won't forget this. But the heat, my tongue is doing one of these things like, ah, it's pretty great. Great burn. If you're somebody who doesn't anything hot, you easily, I can easily say, everybody who's not used to it, I can easily see you just saying immediately it's a 10. Because it's really hot. But if you're, you're somebody who's chasing the heat, still up there. This is going to be probably like a seven or eight. It's legit. It's got great heat, great flavor, no bitterness, wonderful fermentation. Ah, um, it's probably like a three for me. But don't be disheartened. My, my scale is really off. And my my tolerance is kind of high right now. But um, so anyway, Lee Nash, we're at uh, Chef Kenny's uh, kitchen there, factory. <clears throat> Pepper burp from one tablespoon. So he pulls out a couple uh this is the great thing about this is it's on video, which is very cool. But Lee pulls out a Reaper. He goes, I'll eat one, you eat one. I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. So we both ate one at the same time, like tears and ate the Reaper. And the videotape is great. Lee is just, he's a champ, man. It's a hot pepper. I don't know. I think you grew those too. If you're still here, Lee, I'm sure you are. I think you grew them. But it was, it was a really hot pepper. I mean, you know, I, I don't remember what the scale was then, but it was hot for me. But I'm really, really used to that. But we let's see. Hey, you see my heat scale firsthand. He says, "So, hey, Lee, I think you, you got the hiccups almost right away." Fantastic. We sat there and ate a pod together in Australia. I'll never forget that. But Lee's just a great guy. We had a lot of fun. It was, and then I saw him again. Um, that was that. Uh, um, that what I just shared with you. That was at Chef Kenny's place at the Arrowwood uh, Festival. It was like we just had to drive in the middle of like in the mound, like in this woods and the mountains and stuff and you finally get to this place it's the most gorgeous place in the world and he was there also but um yeah i definitely peaked out it's a sauce you guys are like it now listen um if you like you fermented sauces you look like tabasco's a fermented sauce probably one of the most common one people know about um it's they, they, you know they age it and it's fermented and it's just got that great aroma and you, you, they're unmistakable it just has that thing but a lot of fermented sauces aren't that hot. Most of them are kind of low on the heat scale. This is not. It's a great sauce. Um, Skeeter Jerkins, I'm not sure when I'm going to be around the Ohio area. I'd like to come back. My first trip I ever did with Chase Eat was in Clinton, Ohio. But anyway, listen, um, if you haven't tried this yet, you want to. First of all, I know he'll ship it here. Um, you just have to pay for the shipping. But you know what? It's really great sauce. If you like fermented sauce this is probably the greatest super hot fermented sauce i've had really is hot i love the fact that it says on the label uh, extreme uh for chili fanatic only pretty cool anyway so that's my review it's a great sauce i'm gonna put it back in my my hot sauce coffee all right so um black guy in a prius he flies through here and going so fast Porsches drive in the neighborhood and don't drive like that. All right. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. All right, Junior. Thanks for hanging out, man. 
Um, Lee, the barrel was from a winery at Ma uh, Margaret River that was used for Cabernet grapes. Wow. Thank you for that. That's kind of neat. It's a great sauce, man. It really is. I like it more than the first one. I, I like the first one. It didn't last long, but this one's fantastic. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, listen, Prius, Priuses are funny. You got it. Here's the funny thing about a Prius. Like when you have a, a gas car, it takes a while to get into the power, power band. You know what I mean? When you first take off, it, it takes a little while before the power band kicks in. When you have an electric car, it's hybrid. It's electric when you're going into like 35 or 40. When you have an electric car, the second you put your foot down, it's all torque immediately. You know, there's no power band, just immediate. So believe it or not, electric cars are pretty quick. I mean, well, think about the Tesla. I think the Tesla, I don't know what the model of the fast one they've got. They're all pretty quick, but they're really fast one. They're, it's faster than any Ferrari, any Lamborghini. None of them can touch it. Think about that. And it's all electric. So it's pretty fast, actually. It's in power. Um, let's see, Johnny Jr. says, I would love, I'd love to go to Australia and experience the pepper community down there. You're gonna, Johnny. Um, in fact, maybe you'll go with me to the Fremantle deal. We'll talk about it. We have an accord. You'd honor your deal, I'll honor mine. Um, it's amazing. It's a beautiful place, Rome. It's, it's gorgeous. Funny thing is, here I told you I've said this on a bunch of videos. If you have, if I've said you've heard me say it, I'm sorry for repeating myself, but maybe brand new to some people. I went to Australia thinking I was gonna see like koala bears and um I was gonna see koala bears and uh you know kangaroos hopping around, jellies, wallabies, or whatever. You know what I saw? I didn't see any of those. I did see a wolf spider, like a huntsman spider, excuse me, about this big, scared me to death. Um I'm not scared of spiders. Weird looking. We don't have spiders like that. I saw um, a camel. One of those single hump jobs. A camel. Couldn't believe it. And I don't mean like in a pen, like like someone's taking care of these things. They're on their own. They're wild. It's crazy. Uh, um, <laughs> koalas are evil. Listen, when I go back the next time, I'm going. I'm going to make a bunch of trips to Australia this this next in 12, uh, 12 months. I think I'm making three trips to Australia. We're going to go to Brisbane, um, Sydney, and Fremantle. But um, the next time I go, uh, Rob Dunn said right close, where, close to where he is, there's a place that like rehabilitates them and stuff. And I'm going to go hold a koala bear. A koala bear. Come on, man. They're pretty cool looking. I think they're neat. Well, this is, I'm, not, I'm really not scared of that spider. I mean, it was, I got a picture of that spider on my phone somewhere. I'm not going to do it and find it, but listen, it was scary. Um, we were driving to this, to the coast, and it was over this big cliff, and it was just gorgeous, like, crashing sea. It was just a beautiful day, and we stopped to take some pictures, and as we get out of the car, it's, you know, we got out of the car, I'm behind the driver, but I'm on the right-hand side, because the drive, it's right-hand steering. So I'm behind Dunn. He's driving. We get out, and I'm starting to walk around. And he goes, Johnny, come here. And I walk over. And he points down there. On the, the door opened up. And on the door sill below, on the outside, is this big huntsman spider. Gnarly thing. And there's, there's just the way their legs are. There's, you know, look, we don't have spiders like that here. So, um, so anyway, uh, he goes, Johnny, come here. Look at this. And I looked at it. And this thing had, like, hung onto the car. We were, like, driving with this thing hanging onto the car. And, um. I, I look at it, it kind of hopped on the ground and it was like, it was unbelievable. So I, uh, I was going to take a picture of, uh, I want to take a picture of it. So I got my phone down real close and right as I got real close to it, I was about that far away from it. And Dunn was behind me and just touched the back of my leg with his finger, just touched it. I almost had a stroke. Every, I, my entire body tingled for like 30 seconds. It was unbelievable. Um, Anyway, yeah, thank you guys for keeping it family friendly. The reason for that, guys, listen, kids uh, watch this. You know what I mean? Families watch this. So let's keep it friendly like that. Um, they're made and they still freak me out. Listen, there's a meme about it, but like everything in Australia wants to kill you. You know, spiders, snakes, like eight of the most poisonous snakes on the planet in Australia. Australia. 
So it's really kind of crazy. You know, the spiders will kill you. The, you know, I saw a bat. I got the coolest video. I can't upload it for some reason, but I was, we had this dinner um, in Sydney. A bunch of people there. It was just amazing. I had this amazing dinner. Um, uh, Lord Jeffrey Mansion or so. I don't know what it was. I can't remember the name. I'm sorry about that. I'm screwing it up. But uh, we, we came out. I hear this squeaking. I look up and the guy next to me go, said, I look up and the guy next to me says, it's a bat. And, you know, you think bats like well, we eat little squeaking little bats and they made a little squeak. But I'm looking for one of these things. And instead, I see one of these things, a big, giant, swooping bat and a wingspan is like this big. I kid you not. The body was huge. It was like looking around while I was flying. I could see it flying around. And I have a video of it. It's not the best video, but you can tell in the video it's a monster. But I can't really show the video like that. It's hard to see. But it's crazy. I've shown Junior. Um. You should, I see a live mouse? Nah, man. Listen, stick to peppers, man. Um, what is that? Yeah, that's what they are, Ali. Fruit bats. Am I lying, though? Dude, you're from there. True or false, man? The wingspan are like that. True. I mean, I'm, unbelievable how big this thing was. And I mean, it, you could hear it. You could hear its wings, man. It wasn't like, like a little squeaky thing. It was like, whoo, whoo. It was crazy, the noise it made. Anyhow, they're big. You know what? I want to go to South Africa, uh, Jay. I really want to do that. Um, I have an opportunity to, I think, but not not this year, though. Yeah, they're amazing. I'm so glad I got a picture of that, but the problem is it was nighttime, and I really. But so when you see it, you're really just catching. Um, what's been my favorite trip? Boy, I don't know, man. You know, it's hard to say. I love them. It's really interesting. I love them all for a lot of different reasons. Jay from Ireland, hello. Um, you know, Manila was the first foreign trip. I made like fifteen or uh, ten trips. Domestically, like Chicago, New York, a few times, Tennessee, Ohio, Dallas, so a bunch of places in, uh, domestically. But the first foreign one was Manila, and the you know each place. One thing that's a theme, and he, all three of the foreign trips I've made so far is that the people I just fall in love with all of them. They're just like they're family, and I really mean that. I mean, Manila was so great. I'm going back. I just uh, bought my tickets yesterday. In fact, so I'm going back to Manila again. So they were great. Uh, I like them all for different reasons. I love the people in all of them, though. But, uh, Australia, the people were amazing. The scenery was great. The, the food in, in Manila was incredible. Uh, the food in the Manila stood out more so than the food in Australia. But I did get to try some cool things. I tried, like, uh, kangaroo and emu. And I had probably the best seafood rest, uh, seafood meal I had ever had uh, when I was with Chef Kenny, uh, Shirley Ann, uh, me and Desiree, and Darren Hackett. It was incredible. Then. Um, New Zealand was magical, man. I'll tell you, New Zealand was special. <sighs> that was so much fun. Um, guy, Des is not on right now. I want everybody to do me a solid, if you can. Um, pray for her mother-in-law. Her mother-in-law is not doing very well right now. So if you guys can or say a prayer or throw some good feelings or whatever, she could use it. But uh, going back to New Zealand, it was just a spectacular place. The people are just like, like just brothers and sisters that I just haven't seen in a long time. It's how it felt. Everywhere you look is amazing. Here's the thing about New Zealand. You can be driving somewhere. On this side, it's like it's kind of developed. And, but that way, if you walk like 100 yards, you're probably going to step on someplace that no person has stepped on yet. It's just underdeveloped. and so raw and beautiful. And just, ah. Uh, as I, like when you're, I, I went in the woods a couple of times, uh, walking around uh, with Clint Meyer from Fire Dragon Chilies. And it almost had this prehistoric feel to it. I know it sounds crazy, but it really did. It just felt really prehistoric it was just so i loved them all and i'm going back to manila again and then um i've got a trip to uh london in september and then london again in october um, and between london i have i have the middle of manila trip between the london ones uh what's my favorite dish to add chilies to ah uh, you know what's really funny let's be honest uh official uh, official i i you know, I put on every chilies or hot sauce on everything. So 
Yeah, but I'd add chilies to probably tacos, burritos, salads. We're just eating them plain. Kind of into that. Thank you, Junior. Appreciate it. Um, Timothy Pace, I'd love to go to Michigan. I got some friends there. A lot of people that uh, friends of the channel that I'm close to that I'd like to come visit. That'd be cool. Um, oh, let's see. Jim. Uh, will I ever come to England? Absolutely, come to England. Um, probably won't be able to do it. Um, well, no, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna be in London on, like I said, uh, the third week in July. I'll be there for like a week, and then I'm going back again in October. When I go in October, I'm probably taking Junior with me, right, Junior? Providing Junior, Junior knows the deal. We got a little deal we got going, so. He's going to do it, though. Um, Dana rocked it yesterday with those habaneros. That was so cool. Um, Michael James, I love dingoes. Had uh, two as a pet. It's funny, not harmful to people. I see. Well, I think they're just a dog. They're just kind of a little bit wild, like one strand away from normal ones or domestic ones. Have already tried ghost pepper popcorn. Yeah, I don't know where I was. I had ghost pepper popcorn and reaper popcorn, but I can't remember where. I've added reaper powder and ghost pepper powder to popcorn, so I've done it myself. I've never, I think somewhere I had it once. Where was that? It was at a festival somewhere where somebody had that as a sample. I don't remember where. Uh, Michael Hawk, still no luck on getting on hot ones. First sweet piece. Not yet, but listen, you know, one of these days, who knows? Excuse me. Um, Peppers go on everything. It's a trick question. Love it. Tony says, I'd love to see you in person. Ah, I'd let you down. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, when I was with Junior over the, this past weekend, I that's what I do, you guys. I take a little sliver of the chili cherry nightmare of the chocolate, put it in my coffee, stir it up. Don't need sugar. It's just a perfect sweetness and a little bit of a bite. Man, it's a good way to start the day. Tincture and coffee is good also. Um, uh, Sean says, am I attending any pepper events when I go to London? Yeah, there's three that I'll be doing. There's one this weekend that I was going to go to, but we couldn't put the trip together quick enough. So it'll be, I'm not sure what events there are, but um, in October we'll be in Newcastle, um, London in September. So. Not sure which ones I'll be going to, but looking forward to it. Um, yeah, I'm Jay, uh, JJ, I'm kind of put mad dog in things like sauces or like chili, but I wouldn't just, uh, randomly eat some. Had my fill of it. I like some of, uh, Matt, like mad dogs, uh, 20, uh, golden, uh, 20, 25th anniversary golden. Boy, is that a great sauce? Um, what's the next, what's next week group? Uh, yeah, I'm glad you said something. I think what we're gonna do, boy, let me think about this. I got an idea. Here's what I would suggest. I think we should do a fruit sauce, a fruit-based sauce. Now, if you go, um, Hellfire Hot Sauce has several. Let's do this. Well, I feel bad because this is one you have to buy. Well, of course, you had to buy all the stuff before. But, you know, this is a ne the next thing. Like, if you do like, um, Tabasco or, or El Yucateco, this is a step higher. But it's, you, what I was thinking of doing is Blueberry Hell or possibly Zombie Snot. Either Blueberry Hell or Zombie Snot are really, really fantastic sauces. So what I, what I suggest is grab one of those. So go to hellfirehotsauce.com. Um, in fact, let's go with blueberry. And here's why I'm saying that. Blueberry is really, really delicious. It's nice. Uh, the, the flavor's great. Um, the heat is bad at all. But it's so amazing on ice cream that I promise you, if you guys try it, you'll never eat ice cream without it again. So let's do that. So we'll go to, uh, go to if, let's, we'll do blueberry hell Monday, which is the, Today is Monday. Monday will be the 24th. I don't know if that's going to give people enough time to get it. I doubt it. Let's do a week from today. Do you think a week from today is good enough? Throw some ideas out about dates. 
Because I don't think doing it Monday is going to give everybody enough time. You know what I mean? Dana, a peach hob from Pucker Butt will be fine. That's peach. That's fruit based. That's perfect. All right, so let's do this. Today's the 19th. One week. I wonder if one week gives everybody enough time. It does if everybody goes to order today. Uh, now, you know what we're going to do? We're going to say next Friday. It'll be a week from this coming Friday. So it's going to be on June the 21st. No, excuse me, June the 28th. All right? So, uh, so on June the 28th, um, we're going to re do a review of Blueberry, Hot, Blueberry Hell. Now, for that review, get a little ice cream. We'll, we'll review the sauce plain as it is, and then we'll put some on some ice cream. I would suggest vanilla. Man, is that good. So let's do that. That'll be a really, really fun group deal. So go to HelpOurHotSauce.com, order Blueberry Hell. Um, you may have some specials if you buy multiple. I don't know. But put in the, uh, Johnny, all capital letters, in the promo, promo code. You'll get a 20% discount. And we'll do that a week from this Friday, which will be the 28th of June. All right. Now, uh, you guys want to hear something cool? You want to hear some good news? We got a cool announcement for you. Ooh, ooh, wow. You ready? You guys want to hear the cool announcement? Roman, you're a madman. I love it. Corey, it's going to be fun. All right. So, uh, no, we'll do a lot. We'll do a live stream Monday, left eye path, but it won't be a group thing. Okay. Uh, we to, now that we're having to buy things, we've got to plan a little bit ahead of time, you know? So, you, okay, a bunch of yeses there. I suppose you want to hear the good news or the exciting news. Now, my birthday is July 6th, coming up. Okay. So, what I'm doing is. I'm going to be going to Colorado, um, do Mile High Skydive. We'll be making another Reaper Skydive. This is eating four Carolina Reapers during the free fall. It'll be filmed for your pleasure and enjoyment. The dude abides. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a, the second annual skydive. The first one we did last year. This will be the second annual skydive. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to make it an annual event. So um, I don't think I'm allowed to live stream it, which is so sad because, man, would that be fun, huh? That would be so great. I suppose if I owned the, the drop zone, I'd be a little sketchy about people live streaming too. But I will film it, and I'll make sure we have – maybe I'll get us and so we can get two different angles on it. I'll have it, like, professionally edited and make it really cool. Huh? So that's what we're going to do. Uh, jump speed, I will be 53 years old. A little long in the tooth, as it were. Enough's in the house. How you doing, enough? Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, it's got to be gnarly uh, stomach cancer. Here's the problem. I can't go any higher than 13,000 feet because, or 13,000 feet because at mile high where I'm at, it's already at mile 5,000 feet just when the plane is on the tarmac. So when you take off, once you get to 13,000 feet, you're essentially at 18,000 feet. And you can't, anything over 18,000 feet, you need oxygen, but they won't go higher than that. Maybe I can go. Uh, I'll talk to about, I'll talk with you about it later. I look at day over 40, whatever, Jay, come on, cut that out. Um, Rhode Island in the house. Thank you for saying that, though. But Rhode Island's in the house. John Marshall, good to see you. Um, you know what we're going to do in the next slide? I'm going to do a, a next year, on um, the next trip to New Zealand. Junior's going with me, and we're doing a skydive. Um, a bunch of us, like five or six of us, are going to all jump out and eat a pepper together. So that's going to be great. I'm not, we can't all go at the same time. I'm just about positive. I don't know what kind of plane they have, but they're not going to be able to have all of us go at the same time. But each of us will have our own photographer and we'll have it edited so that you can see everybody kind of jumping, little splices of everybody doing it. Uh, it'll be a challenge because it's hard to get the pepper in your mouth when you're going 125 miles an hour. Um, here's the coolest part about jumping out of a plane. Let me tell you one of the really cool parts. And it really matters a lot to me because just over the weekend, coming back from junior's graduation, I had the most nightmarish situation with United. Like just 
tons of canceled flights and delayed flights and changed gates and lost my luggage and not one flight went without a hitch. Not one. Every single one had some sort of problem. So after coming off of that, the beauty of getting into a plane when you skydive is the plane's on the tarmac. You kind of wave to everybody as they're waving goodbye to you. You climb into the plane. There's the door shuts. You the plane with a fuselage. Let's say the fuselage of the plane's with the pilots up front and we're all the seats are here. Well, there's only a few. Yes, there's these like benches that run parallel to the sides of the plane and you straddle the, 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 uh, this little bench facing that way. So as soon as you get in, you sit down, the plane just turns around and takes off. There's no taxiing around, waiting, and you know, listen to the, you know, if we're moving in water, if there's a problem, the thing's gonna drop, and you know, it's not gonna fill up, and air is coming in anyway. None of that. If you get in, the plane takes off, and it's just, man, you don't have a seatbelt. Oh, it's so much fun. Oh, I can't wait to do it again. United's a drag, man. It was a bummer. Family makes this special. Boy, you got that right. Where am I from? John Marshall or Martell, sorry. Give me Marshall. Martell. I was born in New York. Spent a lot of my youth on the East Coast, but I moved around a lot. Um, let's be honest, official. Guy died before, but does the falling distract you from the, the heat of the chili? Um, no, no, definitely not. You can't, you can't hide from it. I mean, it's definitely a surreal experience. And when it happens, you know, your heart's going a thousand miles an hour. And it's like, you, it's this euphoric moment of clarity and serenity and like adrenaline. And, but you still know the heat's there, you know, the only the thing is, you know, like I want to be aware of where the cameraman was. I want to make sure he got the shot right. When I put the peppers in my mouth, you know, I want to make sure he didn't miss it. Um, it went perfectly last time. Here's the good thing. There's good news and bad news. Sean is the dude that I was attached to. He'll be there. Patrick, the dude that was the, uh, the videographer, is not there anymore. And that sucks because he was amazing. Sean's great. Sean's one of the, Sean ate a pepper in the plane on the way up with me. Remember? Amazing. You haven't seen it, you got it. It's a good one. You can rush, left eye pat. Not gonna lie to you. That was a fun video. I liked it. You know, the biggest thing about that video is I didn't want to look scared. Because I'm not gonna lie to you. I was scared, scared to death. Very frightened. Nah. Nah, I was more excited than frightened, but boy, you know, it's weird because you're sitting here and you're like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna get in that plane, and in like 10 minutes, that guy, we're gonna open the door, and he's gonna expect me to jump out there with him. And you do it. It's just it's pretty cool. All right, much love. How should I start the chase the heat in a way that a non chili head would enjoy? Um, you know, good question. Oh, uh, you know, you can just get like chili powder, just add a little bit more chili powder than you normally would. You can get just, you know, get a sauce like Tabasco uh, original. Just put it on your eggs in the morning if you eat eggs or put it on your in your chili or something. And just start that way, but find something that you like. Because if you eat a sauce and it tastes like, you know, you know, turpentine or something, you're not going to want to go back anymore. So make sure you pick a sauce that you like and nothing, nothing too hot and just start to increase what you eat a little bit. You know, if you eat a little bit, you eat a little bit more later. And, you know, there's an addictive thing to uh, capsaicin. And, you know, that's why it, we tend to crave. I don't know. Uh, Luke says, you still have your other video up? I was waiting there, man. Come on. Not sure what you mean. Hi, Luke. Good to see you, though. Um, you know, it's really funny, Roman. I thought that was going to be a big one. I thought that was going to go crazy. But listen, it was just fun to do. You know what I mean? Um, John, let's see. Long Dog's having fresh fish for dinner and delicious sauce from the Angry Irishman. That's good stuff. Cholula is number one. Mahoney. Yeah, um, I, I like Cholula. I'm not a sauce snob, but boy, that uh, delicious sauce is great from Angry Irishman. Love it. What's Hellfire's hottest sauce? Um, you know, uh, they got a bunch that are just way up there. Right now, their hottest is probably Doom, the right hand of Doom, but it's got extract in it. Um, 
Turd Canyon. Thanks, man. Appreciate it an awful lot. Um, but Hellfire Hot Sauce, fear this, evil bastard, near bus. Evil bastard. Um, fiery Fool, they're all really, really up there. Uh, what would I recommend for ribs? You know, my favorite thing to put on ribs, Canon, is, is actually powder. I love powder on ribs. I don't mind putting sauce on ribs, but I find most of the sauce you put on ribs just runs off and they end up, you know, it's a waste. Um, I'm really all over the powders for ribs. Um, it's madness, but it's a Johnny madness. Thank you, Grand Madness. Appreciate it. Yeah, the right hand doom is crazy hot, man. Crazy hot. Nick, what's going on? Um, I don't know. I think I'm not sure if, if uh, the extreme is hot, but I don't think extreme is any hotter than fear than uh, fiery fool. Really don't. Both really hot and really tasty. You know that's I man. I'll tell you, it's such a pepperhead chili company, the chili sauce company. Their sauce is just like, man. If you like chilies, you'll just fall in love with them because they deliver every every one of their sauces just is so packed with flavor. It's absurd, you know. But the heat, oh, the heat. I love it. Um, they're all great. Uh, Fiery Fire Fool is delicious. Yeah, me too, enough. Uh, Hellfire, my favorite sauce companies are Hellfire. Um, I really like uh, Burns and McCoy a lot. Um, I like Big Fats a lot. I like uh, uh, Hurtberry Farm a lot. A few others that I like an awful lot as well, but those really stand out. I'm in love with those guys. Um, aside from the heat, what's my favorite tasting chili? I had a... Uh, I can't remember what it was, ahi lemon drop, maybe. No, ahi sugar crush. Man, that is tasting peppers you'll ever eat in your life. It tastes like it's like you kind of cut it open, dipped it in the sugar water, and like sealed it up. It's just so sweet and so delicious. Ah, oh, it's great. Um, not for a newbie. No, not at all. But listen, you know, but here's the great thing about um, Hellfire. Even though those sauces we just mentioned are certainly not for newbies. They like their uh, gourmet green, certainly for anybody. Their gourmet red is for anybody. You know, they have something on almost every level. But if you want to melt your face into your plate, they got it, man. Oh. Let's see here. What are my what are my least favorite sauces? You know what? I had the sauce once. I remember the name of it. I don't remember the name of it. Yucatan something, I think. I got it from, uh, I got it at the grocery store. And it was the only one, I spit it out. And I actually, it was the only one I ever dumped out during a video. It was just, maybe, and then I started thinking maybe it went bad or something and went back and bought another one and didn't really get the better results. You know, I don't like that sauce at all. Um, this, do you mean, Jay, do you mean the sauce I just reviewed tonight, Dingo? The Widowmaker. This one here, for somebody who does it, if, uh, if you've never eaten anything hot, um, this is going to, you know, if you've never eaten anything hot, this will blow your the lid off your, honestly. If you're somebody who's chasing it, this is going to be probably an eight. It's hot. But it's worth getting. I mean, it's fermented. Oh, it's a great sauce. Zombie snot. Uh, is zombie snot for everybody. I agree with that. I do. Um, listen, it is hot for some, but if you go sparingly, just about anybody can enjoy it. I really like zombie snot. I've emptied a lot of bottles of zombie snot. It's good stuff. Um, I wonder if there's anything else, any other uh, announcements I was going to tell you. we got a really packed schedule for this channel for the next, until the end of, uh, until the end of October. It's every else it's, so it's gonna be a lot of fun i'm gonna hopefully bring you guys a lot of content it's really hard i, I you know this last time i hope you guys noticed this last time in, in new zealand i got better i filmed a bunch of new zealand that i uploaded when i got home it's hard to, to do it and upload it while we're going because we get up and we're going somewhere and i don't know what the internet speed's gonna be like where i'm at the internet speed in new zealand was really slow so i'll try and get you guys content
Okay, Sean likes to fill habanero peppers with reaper sauce, calls them gushers. Um, yep. I like a good gusher. Um, a habanero with, I got the sauce right now uh, from Extreme uh, Australian Extreme Chili Condiments. It's called uh, Blushing Berry. It's got blaz blackberry, blueberry, raspberry. I mean, it's amazing how many berries it's got in this thing. And that in a, in a habanero is amazing. Of course, sure. All right, Lord Cognis had his first super hot of the season last night. Delicious and hot. I love that. I love it. Um, do, you, do I play Call of Duty? You know what? I don't. This is going to sound crazy. I don't really play any video games. I, I, I don't have time really. I figure if I any video game I would play, the time that would would be time that I would be taking away from something that I should be doing. You know, I mean. You know, you guys watch me to only do one or two videos, but there's so much going on behind the scene that, you know, keeps me pretty busy. Jay, thank you so much. Man, I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Um, I'm not an upstate. Uh, anywho. Um, Dirty Dicks is good. Um, Queen Majestic Scotch Bar. I haven't had that. Dirty Dicks is great sauce. I've had a, a lot of it. Um, ah, Jay's living in upstate New York. There you go. And Michael's in upstate New York, too. What's my favorite sauce in Chile? Boy, I'm pretty particular about sauces in Chile. I mean, I'll put anything on. If, I mean, if, if I, I, there's nothing around and all there is is Tabasco. I'm going to use um, Devorandum by Burns and McCoy and Swamp of Dye. By uh, um, Primo's peppers, Troy Primo. Those are my favorite in chilies. Love them. Jay, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. So one of the people helping out. You know, guys, if you just if you just watch this, I appreciate it so much. Anybody that helps out, I appreciate you guys. But you guys are an amazing group. You know that. I mean, at Long Island, I love that. Uh, I was born in Huntington. You know where that is. A tincture shot. Boy, I haven't done a whole shot of tincture in a while. A few bad memories. Adam Collins watching in Sacramento. I was in not yesterday, the day before yesterday, I was in California. Not having a good time. Uh, Swamp and Delk's great on fried fish. I didn't have a problem with California. I had a problem with uh, the way the airlines it was a rough trip. Uh, Long Dog, the orange habanero from last night was probably uh, just under my limit for heat. And this is from a guy who can eat, fear this, and, and fly, and love burns. And habanero to me was hot. Here's the thing about habanero. It's a scary, it's a freaky pepper because it'll turn so many people away. I don't think a ghost pepper is really that much worse than a, uh, a habanero. It just burns differently. A habanero stings really bad. So when you eat a habanero, you think, God, that stings like that. What is a ghost pepper like? doesn't burn the same way. You know what I mean? So it's a deceiving pepper. It really is. Here's what I would do next. This would be my suggestion. If you've eaten a habanero, like we all ate a habanero yesterday. If the habanero is your meat peak, that's your max pepper, get a ghost pepper or something hotter and just take a sliver of it. Just a sliver of it. Eat it. You'll get a chance to taste what a fresh uh, ghost pepper or whatever pepper hotter, what it tastes like, a turn it out or whatever. You get a chance to taste what that tastes like. But you'll also get just an idea of the heat. You won't get the full effect of it, but you really get an idea of the heat. So you should do that. That's what I would do. Uh, Jay in Geneva. And then Oswego, New York. Awesome. Dave Random, always emptied first. Always empties first. Yeah, you know what? It's a great, great. I'll tell you, I think I said it yesterday. It's the only sauce I'll put on uh, steak. Amazing. It's so good on steak. It's not funny. You got it out. Um, Lord Cognis, what did my opinion is a good step up from Buchalokia, working your way up to Reapers? Um, uh, Ken, thanks so much, man. Michigan loves you. Uh, Johnny turned some friends on to the channel. Got to get back to work. Much love. Thank you so much, Ken. I got some great Chase the Champions tonight. Thank you again, Jay. Thank you so much, man. Um, Uh, you know, step up from the, the Buccioloki would be a Trinidad Scorpion, maybe. Um, you know, I mean, there's so many. Honest to God, there's so many here. 
I mean, any seven pot, any uh, a chocolate habanero. A chocolate habanero is going to be harder than, believe it or not, sometimes a chocolate habanero is going to be past the ghost level for you. Chocolate, chocolate peppers, even with lower uh, SHU, will burn you more than the, a different pepper that may be even a little hotter. It has a weird burn. But, um, I, you know, you, here's what I would do. Of course, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. If I was at a ghost level and I want to go to the next pepper, I would just get a reaper and just cut the tail off it and just little slivers of it. Start doing it that way. You'll get you'll build your tolerance quickly. Um, excuse me. Adam Collins, I just want to say I'm very impressed with your question. Heat, I watched a 13 million SHU last night. My stomach, my, oh, excuse me. My house right now is Dave's Gourmet. Insane. Listen, Dave's Gourmet is crazy hot. I just think it's crazy tasting, too. You know, like when you do a shot of tequila, you go, Ugh, what are you done? That's how I feel about Dave's Insanity Sauce. It's don't dig it. has a bad effect on me. It really does. Um, Jigsaw is a very, very hot pepper. That is no joke. Um, I remember last year I ate the Jigsaw. Maybe it was two years ago. Maybe it was season one. I don't remember. It's been a long time. But I ate a Jigsaw towards the end of the season. And I'm telling you, I got uh, an endorphin rush. My ears were burning from one pot. And that, and that was at the end of the season where my tolerance was kind of high. That shocked me. It was amazing. All right, Long Dog is going to get a ghost pepper somewhere and try a few more habanero over time. Like you better, it sounds like an excellent advice. Well, here's a great thing. Here's the best advice I can always give you. Hi, Hot Shots Chunky Tim. Good to see you, dude. Here's the best I can, advice I can give you. I mean it. You can, and Tim chases the heat like a madman. He can tell you. Anybody who's eating the heat can tell you. If you, you can always eat more. You know what I mean? But once you have eaten too much, you're committed. You're strapped in for the ride. There's not a lot you're going to do. You know what I mean? Cut the tail off, Nick. Uh, love you, man. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. <sighs> All right. Expensive than what you'd buy a regular hot sauce in a grocery store, but it's a sauce you need to try if you haven't yet. Um, blueberry Hell. Um, uh, Hellfire hot sauce. Um, it's a great pancakes or waffles. Um, but I use it as a salad dressing, but it's really also very spectacular on ice cream. So I want everybody to order one of those, go to a hellfirehotsauce.com, use the promo code, um, use the promo code Johnny in all caps. You'll get a 20% discount. We're not going to do it uh, Monday because we won't have time to get it. We're not going to do it Wednesday. We're going to do it a week from this Friday, which is uh, the 28th, I believe. Um, and when you do it, uh, have a spoon, and have a little bit of uh, ice cream because it's gonna, I'm going to change your life that night. If you haven't tried an ice cream yet, I'm going to change your life. It's going to be unbelievable. Um, let's see here. Good to see you, Dana. Oh, you're saying hi, Tim. But hi, Tim, too. Huh. Um, yeah, Pepper is in Kentucky Living. That's my friend Jeremy. Put a name to it. Uh, let's be a hey, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that so much. Been watching your channel for a while. Great content. When do you usually live stream? Normally, I do it every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The reason I did it yesterday was because I was stuck in problems with uh, I had problems with United Airlines. So I should have been home in time to do that because I got messed over on every single flight I had. I wasn't able to do it yesterday. I went tonight just to get back on schedule. So normally it's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um one day a week, we're going to do always do a group review, either with a pot, a powder, or something. Sauce. Thank you so much. Means the world. Um, yeah, once the pepper's in you, you're down for the ride. I always say, if you want to dance, you got to pay the band. You know what I mean? It's a great rush, but it comes at a cost. Reaper cheese curds. Lovely. Ugh. Isn't that amazing? Reaper cheese curds. I mean, there's really, there, I'm telling you guys, heat has permeated everything. It's infiltrated every aspect of our uh, things we eat, everything from sauce, powders, salts, ice cream. There's Reaper ice cream. There's chocolate. There's candies. There's coffee. You name it, it's there. It's so cool to me. I love it. Yeah, Tim, I'm telling you, I, don't, I haven't used a regular salad dressing in a long time. You know what my favorite is on salads? Um, double black, I think it is, from uh, 
big fats. It's, uh, cherry balsamic vinegar. It's grapefruit. It's so delicious. I just drizzle it on salad. It's unbelievable. Hey, there's little partridges about. A little family apart. A little mom, little babies in tow. Pretty cool. Um, what is the shelf life if you want to order a Reaper? If you put it in the fridge, if you usually if the place is reputable and they're smart, they're gonna mail that pod the morning they cut it. They're gonna cut it, put it, seal it, put it in a box, and send that baby. If they do that, and you get it right away, you put it in the fridge. It'll last a week, but they have to do that the day. But you get the week. You know, sometimes people sit on it for a day or two, and also you got hot. I mean, the temperature is here in Reno, but it was like ninety yesterday. That's tough on a pod. So if, it depends on when you get it. You know, putting the free in the fridge will certainly slow it down, but not much. In my house, the shelf life like, isn't very long. Cheese. I should do a cheese family stream. Something I might be, be able to do. You read other things other than peppers. I do reviews on uh, cheese. I Peppers and cheese are my thing. Absolutely love good cheese. Man, I'll tell you what. If you haven't seen the video I did when I was in New Zealand with Clint Meyer, we stopped at this little cheese shop. And man, I had this two-year-old cheese. It was called B.O., be best old. That's the best old. I, best cheese I have ever eaten. Man, I'm, a, I'm not a cheese snob. I like good cheese. That was insane. The, the, God, I can't wait to go back. I'm going to buy a bunch. It was amazing. The problem is you can't bring that back with you. So I got it. Just ate as much as I could while I was there. Then left the rest for the for Clinton's family. It was great. Oh, someone's seconding something Katie say, said. Get some ghost pepper cheese. Yeah, ghost pepper cheese is great. I reviewed that a few few different kinds on this channel here. Um, what is the hottest, the best hot and spicy pickles I've had? Well, you want to know something? Talk about a, a hole in the uh, a much needed. A product. I haven't had any really hot pickles that have stood out. I've had some sort of spicy rings. I've had some great like bread and butter rings. I've had pickled like uh, smoke rings, which are. Uh, I, I've had some really great stuff, but nothing that blew my head off. Nothing that's really hot. Just sort of spicy. So. Um, Cabots is awesome. I love Cabots. I love them there. They're great. Uh, Rebecca is so wonderful. Let's see here. Nick says, when you come up uh, to Long Island, let me know. Pepper steak, you won't want to go back to Rita. Huh. I'm a sucker for a good pepper steak. No doubt about that. Um, let's see. We're going to wrap it up, you guys. Um, When's the next collab? Any plans since the CCM bar? Um, um, I wanted to, for a couple different way, collabs. Like, you know, I wanted to do a collab with you when I was out in Chicago, but I'm not going to be able to make it. So that's sort of a drag. Um, but uh, do it. Uh, me and uh, Willie Peets, Brian Chirapi from Willie Peets, we're doing the white chocolate version of the Chili Cherry Nightmare. Which is very cool. We already have the artwork done for the bar, which is so cool. Wicked cool. So I'm excited. We're doing that. That'll be, we're working on that. So I'm not sure when that's going to be released, but we're doing that. Then uh, with uh, Jay, thank you so much. Honestly, we're still doing the uh, corn nut version of the uh, Tube of Terror uh, to give it to people that uh, eat like corn nuts or have a problem with peanuts in particular. But uh, so we'll, we'll, we're doing that. We just have, there's so much stuff going on, like lots of travel, lots of cool stuff going on in the back that I can't really share right now. That's kind of making these things take a little time. But well, I've got some cool things. I mean, rolling out, I got some, a couple, I have a couple huge announcements. I can't, you're not going to hear about for a while. One of them I'm going to be able to tell you about in probably maybe two or three weeks, maybe a month. Uh, but very, very good stuff. So um, I can't wait to, to release all this information to you. You guys are going to love it. 
Um, Charles, thanks for hanging, dude. Good night. Thanks for hanging out with us. Sorry, the real real maple syrup I reviewed. I believe blended scorpion peppers. Is that a good idea? Ice cream? Oh, man. Can I tell you something? I have three bottles of uh, heated maple syrup. One is Chipotle. One is ghost pep. Uh, no, one is Chipotle. One is habanero. One is ghost. I have not put it on anything but ice cream. I swear to you, it's the truth. It's so good on ice cream. You just got to try it. It's the most amazing thing in the world. Jay. Thank you. Appreciate it so much. Um, we need to get you in some collaboration videos side by side with LA, LA Beast, Ted. They're not interested in doing collabs. I like those guys a lot, but they're not really interested in doing collaborations. They did, I consider it for sure. You know, also want to do a collab with the Bell Life. Love those guys. I think they're crazy. Um, Jay is a savage. Thank you. Um, Edward, thanks for hanging out with us later. Take care. Um, Michael James is back. It's awesome. Um, I'm not sure if lantern peppers are the same as habaneros. Not quite sure. Um, anyhow, guys, I think we're going to wrap this thing up. I love you guys so much. You're an amazing group of people. I'm glad you're my family. I'm glad we're doing this together, you know. So, to kind of recap this whole thing. Get ready, Joe. So I'll be flying uh, to uh, Denver probably on the 5th. My birthday's the 6th. I'm going to jump that day for Reapers during the free fall. Then I'll do five. I'll do one, put my, one in my mouth in the doorway, two in each hand, and go out and then stuff both of them in my mouth, eat those, and stuff the other two in my mouth. So I could technically probably do five. I think I'll try to do that. All right. So anyway, we'll do that. Love you guys a lot. Thank you for hanging out. In the description box, you're going to see a link for a good friend, Lee Nash from Dingo. Really a great sauce maker. You got to check it out. Um, you'll see links for Chili Cherry Nightmare and the, the Tomb of Terror. And I'm coming out with a new shirt. I'll be releasing probably... For sure this week, probably tomorrow. Jay, thank you so much. Golly, man. Thank you. Um, so uh, I'll be releasing a new shirt probably uh, this week for sure by Friday, okay? Well, I love you guys a lot. We won't be going live tomorrow. We will be going live again on Friday. Um, love you guys a lot. I'm Johnny. Oh, by the way, right here. See that? Ha, it's a pepper. Click that pepper. You do that, you're part of the family, okay? Um, if you don't want to miss a video, you guys do, right? You click that bell for notification and we'll notify you. Love you guys a lot. I'm Johnny Scoville and this was Chase Steve.